The Atom Splitter is probably my favorite looking and functioning melee weapon in Remnant 2. This thing is a straight up electric buster sword. It swings slow but hits much harder because of this and has a awesome unique mod power on it. You just look so badass while running around with this thing. To get this for yourself, you will need to start in the Narud world in adventure mode. Don't worry, there aren't too many steps to get this one, but it will require some RNG and luck in getting the correct dungeon tile set. What you will need to do is find a dungeon called the Void Vessel Facility. I've only ever found this in the second open world foggy area of Narud, but I'm not too sure if it can spawn in the first open world zone. So personally, I would suggest progressing through Narud in the first open area until you reach the second open world zone and then start looking for door entrances to see what type of dungeons you get. For me, this was located in a slightly underground facility with a rounded door inside. So keep an eye out for that and I hope that helps. But if you do explore the whole area and don't find any dungeons with the Void Vessel facility name, then I suggest returning to Ward 13 and re-rolling to try again. Once you have finally located this dungeon, now you're going to need to explore until you find this matrix looking area with giant columns of pods that occasionally spin around with electricity sparking all over the place. I don't know if this always spawns within the dungeon, but it was there for me, so explore everywhere and hope to find it. But once you finally have have it, you will then see this platform and a doorway raised up high and out of reach. This is where we need to get to. To get there is a little bit tricky and might take you a few tries. The giant creepy robot fingers that come out of the sky will repeat a loop of coming down, spinning the column of pods around and pulling out a panel and then lifting it up into the sky. You may get where we're going with this, you will need to do a perfectly timed jump to land on this panel as it's being pulled out. Then quickly jump again onto the raised platform as it zooms up into the sky. Guy. Again, this might take a few tries, I certainly didn't get lucky. But if you time it right, you will land in the correct place and make it into this room, and right inside is the Atom Splitter for yourself. This weapon is described as a giant tool for splitting heavy rocks, with a description that says, it's not surprising that the Drazir can split the atom. What's surprising is how much control they maintain over the ensuring nuclear reaction. And that's where its special effect comes in that makes it so unique, its mod power fission strike. On a neutral evade attack, the atom splitter achieves nuclear fission, and as such releases a wave of charged particles that deal damage within 20 meters. On a charge neutral evade attack, it increases the range by times 3 and the damage by times 25%. So this sword is straight up a ranged weapon with a energy wave that pierces enemies and deals pretty good damage even for my own low level version. Honestly, just because of how cool this thing looks and its power that is just so fun to use, I'm thinking of rolling a melee build. Which makes me wonder, have you found any good items that synergize with melee builds? Hook me up in the comments down below so I can go and grab those rings and make something really cool. And of course, if you found any awesome weapons like this one, then tell us in the comments down below so we can all learn together as a community. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.